even know what I want to come on here and say. But what I do know, sorry, what I do know is that talking about my feelings helps me out. So here I am, even if it is to a camera. I am just really frustrated, I guess. Not with where I'm at in my life at the moment, because I, I'm happy. Like, I am truly happy. I love who I am as a person. I love what I give to others. I love what I give to myself. I love the world around me. I love... I love everyone. I like most of the people around me. Um... <clears throat> But I think where I where I, where I'm getting frustrated is like, and I can go into like the structure of whatever, but it's for another time. Where I'm getting frustrated is when other people have a say over certain parts of your life, and you have no ability to change that whatsoever. And these people, what am I even saying right now? Let me just fucking be real. Like, literally. So my dad and my uncle, they both have, um, what's it called? They're both guardians of my finances, which is good to a degree because my money's in something that's called a special needs trust fund, right? And it's set up that way in order for Medicaid to not be able to come and say, hey, we've paid X amount of money over the years on wheelchairs, whatever it may be, and hospital bills, etc. And now because of that, you owe us this money because you now have x amount of money in your bank account so in order for that not to happen instead of the money being in my name in a bank account it goes into what's called a special needs trust fund for the benefit of moi um and so there's the preface to that i don't want to be stupid and frivolously spend money and be an idiot and a dumb 22 year old kid who has X amount of money to his name. That's not what I want to do. What I want to do is be able to go out and create the life that I see fit for myself with said money, right? I broke my neck when I was 13 surfing at a surf camp here in Long Beach where I'm from. After said accident, I there was a lawsuit and I acquired whatever amount of money that I acquired. And, and I don't even know why I'm airing this out on YouTube, but fuck it. Like... I'm an open book, and I don't give a fuck. Like, just whatever. Um, there was a lawsuit, and then that ties into where the how the finances are set up with my dad and my uncle, right? Where they're the guardians of, or trustees is what it's called, of my special needs trust fund, because this way Medicaid or whatever entity can't come in and say, you owe us X amount of money. Again, there's a little preliminary, there's a little preface to, I guess, why I'm feeling frustrated. Um, and sorry that the beginning of that was so, was, was so, um, um, like, coded and, like, dodgy. But I wasn't sure that I was going to, you know, say all the details. But I'm at a point where I'm just like, why not? I ain't got nothing to hide so my money is set up in that special needs trust fund. My uncle and my dad are are trustees of it. I want to live a life that I otherwise wouldn't be able to live if that money wasn't there, right? And I'm not saying I want to go and buy a, a million dollar house in Mal like in in anywhere. I'm not saying I want to go and spend all my money. I don't even want to spend a little sliver fraction of it. Uh, t I, don't, I just want to fucking, I just want to go and travel and compete in surf competition. <laughs> I'm not even explaining this good. I want to 
be a Paralympian. And in order to do that, I have to travel and I have to go to certain places and compete in certain competitions. And all of these things cost money. Training, coaches, boards, travel, airfare, hotels, food, registration for competitions. All of these things cost money. And again, I am the first to admit I'm very lucky to have had the accident in the way that I did where this lawsuit was able to take place and, and benefit me in, in, in the way that it, that it has been, right? I'm lucky. Not many people who break their necks are able to then have some, someone or something or an entity that they can sue and, and have money, needed money, for the duration of their disability, for their life, really. I, someone who has a disability, Sorry, this is like all over the place, but honestly, I'm just like probably going to post this raw, so it's totally fine. People with not only spinal cord injuries, but disabilities in general have an expensive ass life. Wheelchairs, I think I said it, wheelchairs, medical bills, uh, catheters, um, uh, anything else under the sun that you require for being in a wheelchair is all stuff that Yes, Medicaid and insurance will sometimes pay for, but not all the time. And not in a way that, like, Medicaid will only, or insurance as a whole, will usually only cover the bare necessity. And what the bare necessities are to insurance companies and other corporations that just want to make money are, like, fucking a piece of scrap metal with, like, a back on it and, like, two pieces for your feet to rest. That's what fucking bare minimum is for insurance companies if you want to be able to get any actual equipment that benefits your life and and is conducive to an active lifestyle as someone with a disability you have to have some sort of of private pay you have to and 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 for so many people and that's why like like government assistance is uh, this is beside the point for so many people having that access to private pay is not accessible and not a reality and that's unfair that is an unfair thing and again that's why i said i'm the f I'm, I'm lucky to have had my accident in the way i did and be able to have this nest egg right or this money to 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 yes buy medical supplies and things throughout my many years as someone with a disability that will inevitably cost so much money but also to go out and travel and live and get sports equipment and get bikes and get new new wheelchair like like new new sports wheelchairs and things like that because these things like i said they cost money and like if you watching this i mean if you're an able bodied person if you want to go to the bike store and buy a bike you can probably get one or you could probably get one on Amazon for like a hundred bucks, a good, decent bike, cruiser bike that will like last you like a year or two, right? Or even more, depending on how, beside the point again, um, if I want to go and get a bike that I can, I can, I can, you know, do on the boardwalk or, you know, like a trail bike or even a fucking mountain bike, all of these things, no less than five grand. No less than five grand and upwards of twenty, twenty thousand dollars. If I want to get a nice adaptive mountain bike, granted, those are expensive for able bodied people too. Like, you can, like, as an able bodied person, probably spend like eight thousand grand, eight thousand grand, eight grand on, in a, uh, on a, on a mountain bike. But then, if you, the second you put adaptive, quadriplegic controls and this that and the third and you start adding all these cool things that make make life make make using that equipment easier for someone like me who doesn't necessarily have full dexterity of their fingers and obviously no use of their legs these things all these things go up in price times up like times a thousand tenfold right and so Again, that money, to go back to why I'm frustrated, that money is there for medical supplies, for me to be able to not have to worry about like new wheelchairs and stuff for the future, for the rest of my life, if we're being completely honest, right? I get that. I do. I fully understand that. And I'm grateful that that's there for that. But then again... And I don't want to sound arrogant. There's a like a decent amount of money that is is put aside from this lawsuit, right? 
and if I just I also I don't want to sound like like fucking spoiled either because like I know that there are people out there who don't have it and they live just like per they live happy lives and whatever I think my frustration lies in the fact that not that you know, I can't spend this money and, ooh, I should, I have it, so I should be able to spend it. Just the fact that, like, again, going back to how my dad and my uncle are in charge of it, the second that I do want to go out and do something, um, in regards to, like, training for the Paralympics and surfing and, you know, mountain biking and, and this sport, it gets shut down and it's like, oh, you should be doing this and you should be in school and you should have a full time job and you should have this, that and the third and, and you should be here. I shouldn't be anything. I should not be told like, oh, sorry, this is like all over the place. Ah, I shouldn't be anything other than happy is what I guess I was trying to say. And and if I have the ability and the means from this lawsuit to do things that allow me to have a quality of life that I otherwise wouldn't be able to have if I didn't have it, then why am I not being encouraged to do so? Why am I not being allowed to go do so? There are, again, there are so many people out there who don't have the ability and means to do so because they uh, because of whatever the reason may be but i've talked to people who are in similar situations as me who have had lawsuits after their injuries and have used that lump sum of money whatever it may be to benefit their lives drastically and for me it seems like it's only had a negative impact considering I, 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 again, actually, let me take that back. It has not been a negative. I have been grateful and blessed to have had this and been able to buy like wheelchairs that are actually conducive to the lifestyle that I want to live. But it, the second that I want to go and get a, a recreational piece of equipment, it then gets shot down. And no, you should be in school and you should be here. And like, bitch, I'm 21. Going to be 22 in two weeks. I've got my whole life ahead of me. My whole fucking life. I will get my degree. Whether it takes me four years, eight years, 10 or 15, that shouldn't be of your concern. I'm doing it at the pace that is right for me. And when I finally do so, who knows if I'm even going to use it? Do you know how many fucking times I've heard people? Yeah, I got my master's and now I work at a, gro uh, a, 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 a bakery, not a grocery shop. Uh, but a bakery and I bake breads at 3 a.m. because that's what fulfills me so many people go out get their degrees in something that isn't fulfilling to them and then end up hating their lives that is not fucking gonna be me not ever not now no 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 I regardless of if my dad and my uncle allow me to do so am going to live the most abundant life possible for myself and like I said nobody's gonna be able to stop that from happening it's just a matter of and this is why i'm frustrated because it's like the people who are closest to you especially when they see you struggling and they see you have gone through so much stuff and come out of it on the other side even stronger better and brighter than you ever have been before who knows maybe they don't even see it maybe they don't care to see the work that I, i've done or you've like that you've done maybe that's maybe that's the problem is I know how far I've come and I know the work I've done to get to where I am as a person, as an individual, as a friend, as a family member, as me, as Robert, as a soul. Um, and I keep getting sidetracked, but like, I, that's why I get frustrated is because, like I said, I'm going to make my life or my dream life, my dream reality, a reality and not just a dream. I'm going to make it happen. This is my fucking video testament of that. I can come back to this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say in three years and I will be living and continuing to live as my best self in the most abundant fucking life possible. 
and will continue to get better and better as I age. That's just life for me. That's the reality. I know that to be true because I'm going to make sure of it. I believe it. And so it's true, right? That's just life. That's the fucking, that's the law of the universe, right? And, and now I'm really going off on tangents, but hey, that's what open-ended conversations are about, right? Um, even if they are with yourself. <laughs> um, I am frustrated, <laughs> finally going back to the point I've been trying to make the whole fucking video, because those who are closest to you should be the first people to encourage you to do good things. Again, I'm not asking to go and buy a million dollar house and spend all my money on nothing. I'm not asking that. I'm asking to go and do things that better my quality of life, that make me happy, that fulfill me as an individual, that help me grow as an individual. But when I bring up these things that truly make me happy as a person, as a soul, as, as, as an, uh, on an individual level and not because it's what someone else wants me to be doing, when I find these things for myself and it's the Paralympics or it's adaptive mountain biking and it's competing and it's sports, or whatever it may be, I love, like, like, whatever it may be, if I am enthusiastic about something and it's going to only benefit me and those around me, then, and it's not like an arm and a leg, like, why am I not being encouraged and shipped off to go and do all these cool things? Like, I should be, I shouldn't be, you know what, I should be not playing the I should or you should or what if and what not because that is when you'll give yourself mental strife because you can't change how other people react to things you can only change how you react to things and how you view things and I guess that's why I'm coming on here because talking things out helps me go through these works in my head and get out all the stuff that I know but sometimes when I get overwhelmed and upset and in in this mood especially when it comes to family I sometimes it goes out the window like I've done so much work to to better myself as a person how I react to things and how certain things have made me react to things from my childhood from my nat like from my teen from whatever but sometimes with family it's like I and I know that's where I still have some work to do because it just gets thrown out sometimes um count how many times I said sometimes <laughs> um and so again I think and this isn't just for me this isn't just for someone who is in the the situation that I'm explaining right now, this is for you. Let's say you watching this, you go to your mom, dad, friend, whoever it may be, someone that you think is going to be proud and encourage you and, 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 and be happy for you, but then they do the complete opposite is a, it's, it's, it's like a complete fuck you. It's like a, Hey, that's cool, but I don't give a fuck. Actually, not only do I not give a fuck, I'm going to make do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. That's crazy. That is narcissistic behavior. That's controlling behavior. That's giving, yeah, I abused you in your childhood and I haven't learned my ways and I'm going to keep doing it. Sorry, now I'm really going off on tangents. How many times am I going to let myself lose my train of thought? ADHD. Um, fuck, no, I actually had a thought that I wanted to put Fuck! Fuck, what was it? I don't want to, like, stop this recording because I like the, the idea and the fact that it's kind of just a raw video of me working through my brain. Um, sorry, I know I have a point that I didn't finish off there, but I already feel better after talking to my camera. Um, yeah. I guess I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, Cause if I, I can probably make this video 45 billion minutes long and um, yeah. So I am uh, gonna end it that, at that, so. I know I have not posted on here in, God, it's probably been like three years, more than that, four years, probably like three or four years since I, since I posted a YouTube video, even after I was like, I'm gonna keep up with it.
and then didn't do that. Um, yeah, I apologize for that. And who knows, maybe this will be the type of style of content that I do from now on, because I enjoyed this. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Adios.